perhaps you're on a server and you want to know who is your most onlineiest player, or maybe you just have your own single player world and you want to know how long you've spent on all of those builds so far. Well, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a scoreboard on the right hand side of your screen um, that shows you the minutes played or the hours played or the ticks played depending on what you want to do. So let's jump right into this one. Um, so yeah, the first command block is going to be on about command block output, so obviously we set that to false, otherwise your game chat will be absolutely spammed with messages from all of these command blocks. Um, you don't want that to be happening. Now the second one is going to be on uh, scoreboard objectives, so this is creating the objective for ticks played. Um, all of these commands will be in the description below. Um, so you'll be able to copy and paste them. I'll see this says scoreboard objective add ticks played Minecraft custom Minecraft play one minute. So obviously that monitors one minute being played and then the third command block that we have out of the regular command blocks is going to be um, a dummy objectives one to add the minutes played dummy and obviously give it the display main uh, display name of minutes played. So if we run the three of them and then we can move on to our two repeating ones. Um, obviously, these two repeating ones need to be set on repeat, unconditional, and always active. By default, that will be on needs redstone. If you set it to always active, then this will constantly be running. Um, so this first one is going to be uh, checking to see, you know, when you've hit 1,200 ticks of games uh, of game time played, uh, it will then. Uh, give you one minute of game time um, because obviously 1200 ticks is equivalent to one minute um, so if we run through the command execute as at a so obviously at, at a refers to everyone so execute as all players if score um, for ticks played so at s is for the specific player you're talking about uh, matches 1200 so if they've played for 1200 ticks run scoreboard players add that same player um, add s minutes played one and then basically the same command uh, as I say this will be in the description below but this is checking that if the ticks played matches 1200 then it's going to set the ticks played back to zero again so obviously those are always running and then the final one is uh, an another at a kind of one where you execute it um, to run the scoreboard objectives set display sidebar minutes played so that will set for everyone on your server the um, sidebar to display the minutes played alternatively uh, this bit that's on screen now without the execute bit um, that will run for as a regular command that you type in chat each player individually to set it up um, obviously these two are already running so the last one we need to do is hit that one and as you can see it says that I've been playing for 39 minutes um, and this is super easy now obviously you can toggle them by multiplying by 60 in each one to get um, hours played obviously if you want to do ticks played then you just display ticks rather than display um, minutes played uh, it's really very easy and interchangeable and I hope that has worked out rather well um, for you guys obviously this was a video suggested by Panos um, thank you very much they left a comment saying how did you do the minutes played scoreboard in my private world and yeah it really sparked the idea for this video so I hope you've enjoyed I hope it's been helpful I've of course been keeping it crafted and that's going to do it for this video um, check out the other videos in the redstone guide playlist and I'll see you in the next one bye Thank mm -hmm. you.